Hey guys, it's Rich again at the Ultra Motorsports Warehouse in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Uh, real chilly day here in November today. I uh, wanted to pull this 1972 TR6 outside for one of our customers. Uh, this car has got a paint job about a month or two ago. Uh, interior is immaculate, it's done in British Racing Green and the interior is uh, uh, tan. Brand new black top and um, brand new carb rebuilt. Uh, Oh, front end's been uh, aligned, tie rods, all that good stuff. Car runs and drives like a top, so real sharp car. What we'll do is we'll just kind of check out these body lines for all of our customers online. Um, paint job on the car is uh, real, real, real nice. All this stuff was taken out in order to, uh, to paint inside the trunk like it's supposed to be. Uh, it does have the boot, and it also has the, um, the, boot, the bonnet that goes over uh, the entire passenger compartment when, when it's... Uh, when it's when it's uh, being left out, let me pop the hood real quick for you guys. Apologize, guys. Here, this video is not exactly what you guys are used to with us, but it is pretty cold out here in November right now. So let's just pop the hood real quick. Barely had time to get this thing cleaned up. Okay, guys, there it is. Uh, rebuilt engine. Everything is looking tight. Uh, car looks great engine compartment detailed out. Everything looks very, very tidy on the car. Okay, uh, Chrome is, I would call this Chrome, you know, better than driver quality. Some little bitty starts of pitting starting maybe, but uh, very nice anyways. Uh, beauty rings all look real good. The redline tires look great. We'll take a look at the underside of the car here in a second. Um, this is an overdrive car. And as you can see guys, everything is real tidy. I mean, just a very, very tidy, tidy car. Okay, let's head this way. We'll fire this up so everybody can hear it run. Let's take a look at the underside of the car real quick for all you guys. Climb down here. Again, if you have any questions or you want to see some additional photos, make sure you reach out to me, okay? Um, car looks real tidy on the underside also. Everything seems to be looking real nice. No major issues. Okay. There's the underside. Frame rails look good. Floors look good. Everything looks nice. Okay. On to the interior. Uh, the interior of the car, like I said, finished off real well. It looks real, real nice. Hopefully, all you guys can see this. Everything's finished up real nice. Uh, the dash on this car, a little dusty, but no splits, no cracks, nothing like that. Okay. Door panels look good. Real good. Uh, a little bit of the glue. If somebody knows a way to fix it permanently, let me know because I've never found one yet. Uh, like I said, paint job was done well. All the jams done. Car was taken completely apart to be painted. All the gauges work. Car runs and drives real nice. Okay. No issues, guys. Really, really tidy little car. So, as I said before, this top is brand new. And what we'll do right now is we'll take this thing for a real quick Ultra Motorsports test drive. And then we'll get this thing out there to the world. Okay, guys. Let's choke this a little bit. And... Yeah, doing everything it's supposed to do right now. Let it warm up a little bit. Like I said, it's cold outside. We did pull it outside, but let's get this pulled out just a little. I don't know if you guys can hear that. The car's running great. Runs like a sewing machine. Oil pressure's up. RPMs are up. Chokes off. Okay, guys. Take this thing for a real quick Ultra Motorsports test drive on our little test route here, and then we will be on our way. Just so all you guys can hear this shifting through the gears, all right? Shift smooth. 
car runs real nice. Definitely, definitely a really good, solid, uh, everyday driver. Uh, you know, but with some style, obviously. I don't know if you're hitting wine country or if you're running up the west coast or the east coast, but this is the car for sure. Definitely drivable. Um, doesn't seem to be sliding off one direction or the other. Braking good. Doing really everything it's supposed to do. So, everything's looking good with this car. It's, uh, all the instruments are working correctly. Everything is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. So, just a real fun little, real drivable car, okay? Um, paint job is, I, I think the paint job is show quality. So, paint job is show quality, and, um, the route just finished off real well. My painter does a really, really nice job, and the interior is excellent on the car. Um, really not too much to say real shabby about it, really. Um, the, uh... Yeah, just a, just a tidy car, that's all. Probably the chrome is probably one of the tackiest parts of this car. So really not much to uh, really not much to ding the car on. So if you guys have any questions, just uh, make sure you reach out to me on the website and I'll, and I'll make sure that I uh, answer your calls. If you guys would like some more information on the car, uh, you can contact me through the website at www.ultramotors.net. Uh, or what we can do is, is we can um, uh, do some video Skype or something like that, whatever you guys would prefer. And uh, I can make sure that all you internet buyers are well informed when it comes to this car. So, again, like I said, anybody has any questions, uh, reach out to me. My name is Rich. Uh, through the website or um, you can uh, find this car on eBay. Alright? So I'll be pulling right back into the building here in just a second. And like I said, guys, runs like a sewing machine. If there's anything that you guys would like to see about this car, any information, there's really no request that's out of the question here at Ultra Motorsports. So video Skype, um, you know, you want to see the car on a lift, whatever you guys want, just make sure you get with me and I'll make sure that it happens, okay? All right, pulling up into the lot now, finishing up the Ultra Motorsports test drive here. Car shifting real good. All right. Like I said, guys, that finishes up our test drive. 1972 Triumph TR6. Anybody has any questions, make sure you reach out to us. www.ultramotors.net. Thanks very much.